hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video before that please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip you may miss some content or if i modify any solution you may you may able to miss that so do watch the full video so this is week 6 assignment of joy of computing using python course friends i hope every solution is correct but if you think there are any changes uh, there should be some changes made you can do comment in the comment section so i'll try to reply for the valid queries and correct the solution but i think uh, there will be no ne necessity arrive to change this because i hope every solution is almost correct so let's see the first question <coughs> which of the following is true about recursion so for this first question uh, i have got three solutions the first one is recursive code can be reused the next two are the last two options so finally option 2 3 and 4 are the probable solution for first question and moving on to the second one if python is encoded by tcxlsr then diamond will be encoded as guys uh, this is pretty simple because if you add p plus 4 plus 4 means p q r s t fourth one is the t letter in the same way if you consider the alphabets as a cycle after y it will be z and after z it will be again a like that y plus 4 gives c y plus 4 gives c like that d plus 4 d plus 4 gives h and the uh, last but one that means n the letter n n plus 4 is r so first letter is h and last but one letter is r that is H and last but one letter R. So, fourth option is correct one. So, mark option four as correct answer for second question. And moving on to the third one. Let L be a list containing different names of movies. Which statement is correct to select a random movie name from that list? So, for third question, the answer is first option. Random dot choices of list name that is L and moving on to the fourth one fourth question in the list L equals 4 6 7 4 6 2 1 what is the index of element 7 guys we know that uh, index will start with 0 right so for 4, four it will be 0 for 6 it will be 1 for 7 it will be 2 so for 7 2 is the index so mark third option 2 as correct answer for fourth question and moving on to the fifth question so the fifth question what will be the output of the following code so here they have given a code Uh, and they are asking the output for the following code so when you do this you will get for fifth question the answer as first option shift every letter in a given word by value here you will uh, give value right In the, the whatever value you will give the the letters will be shipped by that number of uh, letters in a given word so first option is correct and moving on to the sixth question library used to import images so for sixth question the correct answer is first option PIL so in order to import images we should import 
PIL library. And moving on to the seventh question now. Values of CSV files are separated by. So the CSV file values are separated by commas. So mark first option as correct answer for seventh question. And let's move on to the eighth one. Eighth question. What will be the output of the following program? So here they gave a program and they have used recursive function. So and they are asking the output of recursive of 10. It means they gave number value as 10. So if number equal to 1 it will print only 1 star. If it is an event because they gave number per I mean modulus 2 it means if it is a even number it should print uh, like this the, as the specified way otherwise it should be recursive of an m uh, num minus 1 so here 10 10 is a even number so it will be print according to this block the instructions according to this block so if you do this in your compiler then you will get the solution for it as like this last option so mark fourth option as correct answer for eighth question guys don't con uh, confuse with this one uh, it, it is under the this option that is fourth option is the correct one so mark here but not here so mark last option as correct answer and moving on to the ninth one what will happen if we don't check for a base case in recursion so if there is it if there is no base case then the program will be in a danger to enter into an infinite loop guys error is better than infinite loop right it will enter into the infinite loop so mark third option as correct answer for ninth question and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is tenth question which of the following is true about recursion so which of the following options are correct regarding the concept of recursion so recursion decreases the speed of the program so this is the true statement regard regarding recursion so friends these are the solutions for week 6 assignment of joy of using using python course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section or if you want to suggest me any changes regarding the solutions you can also do that in the comment section only so before the submission moment once again check the video comment section for any updates because I will update there in the comment section so friends for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until the next video goodbye thank you